She thinks her father is completely useless. So the story goes that we got another viral TikTok here where this girl has gone and made a video about her family. Basically, she talks about how useless her father is and that he only earns money for the family and provides for them financially, but he doesn't actually hang out with them or spend time with her. And this video has started a pretty big debate on Twitter about whether she should have posted this video in the first place and what, what it means to actually be a father. father are such a complex concept because even some of the ones who are physically there aren't actually there for their kids. Um, you guys are not missing out on anything. My dad adds zero value in my life. He sends money once a month. He ignores my f***ing existence. He's basically part of the furniture. We don't even see each other every day and we live in the same house. <laughs> you know, like I get shocked when he starts acting like a dad. Like, we are guy. No, why are you dressed like that? Like, no, send money. Go into the club, see you tomorrow morning. Let's not do that. You know, let's go back to being shocked when we bump into each other in the kitchen during the day. Like, what are you doing in my house? Go to work. Oh no, I took a sick leave. Like, I don't care if you're sick. Go to work in my space. Okay, lots to digest over there, but uh, I always feel really weird whenever people post videos about their family on TikTok. I feel like I'm a complete stranger. Why do I need to know about this? But whatever. Now we're in the age of social media where family drama is just internet drama at this point. Let's just say I, I, I see both sides here, okay? I'm just gonna say if you ever plan on bad mouthing your, your family on social media, it's probably not the best idea considering your family is, is probably going to see it and get very mad at you for portraying them as villains to the internet, and then your relationship is gonna get even worse. Which is exactly what happened here, by the way, because she talked about her mom and her dad. Apparently, uh, she had some allegations toward her mom, saying that she was being abusive. I don't know the mom's side here, okay? I'm not gonna speak on that. I don't think the mom has a TikTok as well. It would be very weird if the entire family had separate TikToks that they were all posting or something. Basically, her uncle found her videos or something and got mad at her, and then uh, she had to justify herself to them or something. But yeah, it's a really messy situation. So let's just talk about what she actually said. So she started off by saying that her father adds zero value to her life, which is definitely false. I mean, he, he definitely adds some value, at least with, with the money and providing security for you and your family. A father's job is obviously more than that, but let's not say zero value, okay? There is some value. Money is a very important thing in life. Now, the fact that she said they live in the same house and don't really see each other very often, that really sucks. That's pretty sad. And honestly, Honestly, that's kind of how it is for a lot of families, unfortunately. That's just a situation that ends up happening. I'm going to assume, and she said this in other videos as well, is because he's working all day trying to provide for them. It's noble in that sense that he's working so hard, but obviously as a father, you should be making time for your kids and spending time with them. Otherwise, they're gonna end up posting you on social media or on TikTok, which is a, a fate worse than death, I, I'll, I'll just say. I don't know the situation here completely. I only know what she has told me here, but, um, if the father is like working two jobs or something, working his ass off, making sure you have enough money to go to a better college or something, doing something really noble there, it would be completely different from if he's just working like one job and he's not really trying that hard and then he's slacking off after work, playing with his buddies or something, overspending time with his kids, right? That's a completely different situation there. Now, a lot of people were mad at her just based on the way she was speaking, saying things like, I don't care if you're sick, just go to work and uh, basically give me money to go to clubs and... Uh, uh, that, that's just a bit of weird behavior there. Obviously, you should be caring if your father is sick. Maybe she's joking or something like that, but it's kind of weird to joke in a serious video as well. There were some absolutely wild comments saying like, I'd leave her too if, if, if my daughter posted me on TikTok. So here we have the quote tweets here. My dad adds no value to your life, yet you have a roof over your head, you have food to eat and your clothes. While I do agree that it's, it's hard to earn, it, it is definitely considered the bare minimum. If you're a father and you're raising a family, of course, you need to be there for your kids or get they're, they're gonna turn out a certain way, kind of like uh, this person turned out here. Me at an island in Spain buying drinks for everyone because my daughter compared me to a piece of furniture. Of course, she's not very, very being very nice here. She's not making it easy for her father to love her, let's just say. Or maybe the relationship is so broken at this point that it's, it's just not gonna be mended. And believe it or not, her relationship with her mother is even worse. Apparently, the, the father is just an absent father or something. And then the mother is actually like abusive. So it's just uh, all around 
around horrible situation. I feel bad for her and I feel bad for the family in general, uh, I guess. Struggled with this for the longest of time with my dad. He's a naturally quiet person who would leave the house at 5 a.m. and then come back at 6 p.m. tired AF. Yeah, if you're working from 5 a.m., it's understandable that when you come home, you're gonna be a little tired. I'd still, you know, talk to my kids, but whatever. He couldn't even go watch me play sport on weekends because he was resting. But one thing I knew how much that man loved us. Some people were saying it's it's a different sort of type of parenting where I guess they're just working really hard and providing for them in a different way. I don't know if the mom's working here. There's not really much information to work off of here, but basically you gotta use your imagination to fill in the gaps over here and take a side apparently. Apparently you can't have nuance on the internet. You have to hate either the daughter or the father here. Maybe both people are wrong in some way. Who knows? Everything we wanted he would give us even with his last cent. As I grew older, I started learning about their upbringing, started getting exposed to their financial status of the house, started learning about the fa family dynamics. I went to initiation and then things became better because he would spend the whole day and night with me there. We started talking more, became more expressive. I came back from initiation and made it my priority to actively work on our relationship. Years later, he was admitted for diabetes. We learned he suffers from chronic depression. He too was not aware. We prioritized making him feel better. One of the things I picked up was how happy he is when I am around. Every chance I get, I make sure to come back home. I understand it's painful having your parents there and not having a relationship with them, but I'm not going to attempt to say that. You guys are going to destroy me. But more especially than they've never done you dirty, except not having time to do activities with you. The same things you go through, your folks also go through them. So yeah, I definitely do see this side as well. He might be struggling with things that he just doesn't tell you about. He might be having chronic headaches, I don't know, uh, insane fatigue, or maybe even a flipping disease that he's not telling you about. A lot of like men of the family or fathers and stuff will just hide all their problems, keep their problems to the themselves and try to protect you and shield you from everything. Now, obviously, this is not making a blanket statement. He very well may actually be just an absent father or something like that, but consider these possibilities as well. Because in general, in life, it's very easy to only see your perspective and only see things from your point of view. And uh, when you get older, you start to realize that, hey, I understand why my dad wasn't available. He was working his ass off and stuff like that, right? Maybe a little more empathy on both sides is needed. The dad needs to understand how her daughter is feeling and maybe talk to her once in a while about the situation. Maybe she needs to understand that, hey, he needs to work, okay? And sometimes he comes home tired and he can't, he can't be there all the time, you know? Posting videos like this about him on TikTok saying that I don't care if you're sick, just go out there, work and get me money so that I can go to clubs is very weird. Now, if you go on her Instagram as well, her pictures seem like she's doing pretty well, honestly. Like, uh, I, I know social media doesn't tell you the full story there, but it seems like he's providing you definitely enough to fund your lifestyle or whatever. People are actually actually like helping each other. This is once in a lifetime viewing on Twitter, guys. If your DMs are open, I'd love to talk about this. Something I've been battling for a while. No problem, King. Hit me up in the DMs. Something wholesome on Twitter? Red alert, red alert. What website is this? This is no longer Twitter. This is X, guys. Holy shit. My father used to work Monday to Sunday, left home at 4 a.m. and came back at 6 or 7 p.m., made sure that all of our household needs were met. One time I found his pay slip. Let's just say the only way he could afford was through overtime and that was enough for me. That's really heartwarming, honestly, and I can see why some people are mad about this. My uncle told me by the time you realize your father was right, you'll have your son telling you that you were wrong. Listen, I'm not going to give a blanket statement here that all fathers are just the greatest people on the planet. There are plenty of shit fathers, okay? Let's let's be real about that. But uh, this one, I, I, I don't know. To be honest, if a lot of fathers had the time, they would definitely spend it at home with their kids. The whole father hating needs to stop. My dad rarely came for school events because he was busy hustling. He's self-employed, but this led me to getting into private school. I don't have the English to explain it, but there's something about her that makes her seem like such a horrible person to be around. I mean, I will say I would never want a friend or family member who posts all their life on social media because then I'd feel like I'm always walking on eggshells that they're going to spill the beans to the internet and suddenly I'm going to get tons of hate mail or something uh, like my socials are going to get spammed. They're going to come to my place of work and just, uh, I don't know, get try to get me fired and stuff, which is actually some things that are actually happening to this person right now and her relatives. Her mom was getting messages from her TikTok fan base. She had another video go viral. I, I feel like a couple months ago or something, it got like 1.5 million views. And essentially what happened is that her mom was getting tons of messages because her video went viral on TikTok. They were just arguing back and forth about whether or not she undergoed abuse or something like that. Yeah, my mom got me arrested at 15. She's the reason I'm in therapy. 
and she's the reason why I have PTSD, depression, and anxiety. This is probably the wildest tweet. Ditching kids with bad vibes early is greater than raising an ungrateful septum ringer who will post shit about you online. I've never heard anyone being called a septum ringer, but that's, that's new. No amount of parenting can save this one. We know where she belongs. Oh boy. What is going on? Don't mind her. She has a septum ring. God damn. I feel bad for anybody else who's been wearing nose rings and stuff now, dude. Bringing down the community over here. Parents are human too. They struggle with mental health. Imagine making sure you provide food, shelter, healthcare, clothing, electricity, school fees, transport, smartphones, etc. for a child to tell strangers that you add no value because you hustle too hard to have free time. You know, I think any father would be really mad if they saw their daughter posting about them on TikTok like this, saying that they add zero value to their life, saying that they're practically furniture. I guess you can tell your audience and stuff that, hey, my father isn't around much and I feel bad about that. But to say that you don't care if he gets sick, you just want him to give you money and leave is just, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's an emotionally charged rant. Also, for your own protection and well-being, you probably shouldn't be posting these videos on TikTok because what if your dad sees this and is like, okay, I add zero value, so I'm just gonna not give you, not gonna give you money anymore. Like, that would be a way more horrible situation. Like, this is why I never encourage putting your drama out on the internet, man. It's never gonna end well. But let's just hope everybody can move past this. All right, that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Click this video. Bye-bye.